Hey guys, it's SF and I'm black, back with Black Knight Strikers and there is a new event, new Savage event that came out the day after the one that I did in the intro video that I did. So some changes from the very first video is that my 6 star monster has evolved into, uh, let's check her out, into her 6 star form. Nothing very much changed, her stats of course have grown up and then the level threshold has increased as well but uh everything else is pretty much the same the uh, strike saber is also the same and also the brave ball as well probably like the amount of healing is probably a little higher than the previous form but it was it took it it took a while because of the divine shot i'm just going to call it divine shot because they basically copied most of that from monster strike but there is a new event this one's the light one. There's a light one. And I'm going to choose my friend. My friend's going to be a archer. I'm going to choose this girl for the archer. She is a hatcher 5 6 star monster. Uh, beast slayer. And then her uh, strike saver is like a, like basically an arrow going through the map. And then when I use the brave ball, my team's defense goes up. I think everything, everybody else is the same. This one was the one that I rolled in the Hatcher during the intro video. I just bring him because uh, he's a dark and then the dungeon's a light. And then Archer, the my Fire Archer is pretty much the same as the water one that I introduced. This dungeon, I don't really like the traps in this dungeon because I really hate them. It doesn't help you, it doesn't, you have to really, you really have to stall. I'm going to jump the ball at least. As you can see the dog looking thing uh, shoots out like a flame. And that does a lot of damage if you stand near it. So I'm just going to let my archers do the work. There we go. And then there's this like tower thing. It just keeps on spawning minions. If you don't defeat it. Okay. Another thing about the weapon power up is that if you keep on consec consecutively like adding the same uh, uh, same weapon power up, the rank of it goes up. I'm just gonna stall here. Although I shouldn't really be. I uh, guess I won't. Because I don't want to take damage from the lightning blast thingy as well. Because you can't really avoid it except for going like all the way back. Ouch. Just gonna grab it. I am a little bit low on health, but I should be okay. I do gain HP throughout uh, after getting them going, beating, going to the next floor. They are called waved in, waves in this game. This one's kind of like a respite, and I have everything. Okay, and boss time. Oh my god, I really hate this. It's like a tower of those flaming things. I'm just gonna strike, uh, saber. And dodge. Okay. And then attack the boss. Oh god, it's the giant rip ball of doom. Time it. Oh, okay, I got lucky with the chance. I'm just gonna blow some of my strike sabers because I want to get this speed clear. Oh god. Time it. There we go. As long as you know how to time the time the attacks, then it's really easy. And I got lucky. Oh, he escaped. And now it's time to use the brave ball. I'm just gonna go straight down. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. That cleared all the tower. And then just basically ram the boss. And hopefully I can beat it within the speed timer and even if you're at max rank for your weapon if you keep on getting the same weapon you get a bonus of just like extra coins and stuff oh I missed timed that one okay and that should be it 
But as long as you know how to avoid the attacks, then it should be okay. Hopefully I get a drop. Hopefully I get a drop. But of course my monsters are relatively powerful because I do have a 6 star in there. Oh my god, two drops. That's awesome. I hope. Nope. Turtles. <laughs> oh, but I did get uh, uh, more life. I can check here. I think I got a more light X or an S. Let me check. Yep. A more life X. It does not look like any of the more life uh, more links in Monster Strike. But the turtles do. See, the turtles look a lot alike. But, um, but that's pretty much it. Just uh, spears usually just do like a straightforward attack throughout your whole pierce through your whole team, and then it knocks your whole team back. So. Of course it does damage to you and it will waste some of your time to actually move back towards the boss especially for your closer range monsters but uh overall it's not that bad as long as you just avoid the damage avoid the damage and then avoid the damage from the traps the flame breaths if you stay in the brain like the flame for like at least two or three seconds you're basically half your hp is gone so make sure you avoid that but that's pretty much it for me. If you guys like more uh, Black Knight Strikers videos, then be sure to like and subscribe and comment. And of course, if you have any other suggestions for other games, then feel free to comment that as well. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.